Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Series 7 the Second Encounter on the Series Difficulty setting. This is Level 7, The Elephant Atrium. Alright, so are you guys ready for some cool technology? Because check this out. Reflections in a video game. Whoa. Even look at yourself. Look at that handsome man. So yeah. Still impressive. This game was made in 2002, mind you. It's gonna be a guy and clear. Well, there's one flaw with this reflective floor, and that is the flames. The sprites are not uh, flipped. Oh well. Shouldn't really complain. The fact that this game has reflections is more than enough. So once again, this level starts off kinda first encountery. And there's also a secret here. I hope the bouncer's not gonna mess with my uh, physics. Oh, all good. Let's get the serious health then. For our first secret. Okay, let's see what's next. There's gonna be a bunch of monsters here, also. Clear. Oh, you bitch. Uh, let's see. There's gonna be a chainsaw dudes. Also there. Go away. I think that's it. I think we can now go outside. Yeah. Good morning, Bev. Oh no, wrong map. Uh, there's gonna be a demon here. Yeah, there he is. And we are gonna get. Let me see. The tummy gun. And then we're gonna grab that pill over there. It's not suspicious at all. Let's see, tummy gun. Uh, I'm gonna grab the now armor yet. My tune. So I'm just gonna get out of here. If I stand behind the tree, I don't think the demon can hit me. No, you cannot. I don't think he can hit me at all as long as I strafe, because the fireballs will hit the wall. Alright, let's um, grab this uh, pill. Who's trying to fight me? Show yourself. To remember what's gonna spawn, I think. Right. Not a well hidden secret, but the reward is very nice. A cannon. It's gonna be very useful. There's gonna be a big fight here. Uh, we're quite limited on, on ammo, actually. For the amount of stuff we get to fight. It's gonna be Biomech Majors, Clear, Wearables. 
It's quite hardcore. That's why I grabbed the Tommy gun, just in case. Not planning to use it here, but you never know. Just gotta use the sniper and rocket launcher efficiently. Case scenario, I will use the cannon against the clear and the werewolf. Like, just use now. Just, just use it now. We're gonna collect, collect lots of um, cannonballs in a bit. So it's okay if we use a couple. Sniper ammo, we have a lot. Just like a cigarette, they give you lots of sniper bullets in this level. So don't mind me. Come on, switch. the last wave of clear, I hope. And that's it. So what were they guarding? Why were there so many enemies here? Well, let's take a look. Hmm. A detonator. What could it be? What's gonna happen? Well, let's find out. Cannon ammo, hell yeah. They're fully stacked. And they're nice enough nice enough to give a give us a serious speed. To make the backtracking much uh, faster. Alright. Let's move on. Right, this fight's a bit tricky. I'm gonna... There's one big trigger here. From wall to wall. I'm gonna trigger it a bit here. So I can hide from one uh, Reptiloid. Uh, the lens flare. can see shit, Captain. And just like the Reptiloids, I will snipe the demon. Alright. Oh, there's also Guffy. So another Guffy. There you are. And it's gonna be Kamikazes too. And a Lava Golem. I think we should prepare the cannon. Oh yeah, and those Kamikazes get launched from the freaking air. Do you see that? Pretty interesting. They're getting launched. Look at that.
Okay, then before we enter this building, there's some some piece of armor here, and I think it's spawns the biomax. Let me see. Yeah, and another one. Oh shoot! He got close, but he didn't hit me, or barely. And we can find some armor here, which we don't really need. So that was a bit of a waste. And there's another secret over there, or something. Or what? No, that's that's in secret. I confuse these two areas a lot. This one and the one from Ziggurat. I don't think there's any secret left. I hope. Not too familiar with this level. Fancy. And look, it's the healing pool from uh, Quake. You know, the one in uh, episode 4. The Palace of Hate. Uh, they are clear here now. Uh, beware of this uh, moving brush. And get ready to fight some... I think demons. Or reptiloids. Or something. Oh, there's a reptiloid all the way over there. Bring on the demons. I'm ready. Can I hit this one? No. What? Something hurt that demon, not sure what. We are done with this area, I think. Still feeling there's like a hidden item somewhere in the wall, but could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. I just had to. All right. Now there's a sneaky bionic here. You can hear him. And now comes probably the weirdest, or nah, the most nerve-wracking secret in the game. So I'm gonna kill the Guffy here, and there's gonna be six clear getting launched, and if you kill them before they hit the floor, you get a reward. As in, you get score. Okay. We're not allowed to miss. Bravo! You killed six clears in the air. Phew. <laughs> that one always gets me uh, pumped up for some reason. Ooh. Such a simple secret and that one uh, doubled my heart rate for some reason. Probably because if I fail I have to redo everything. <sighs> Alright. I'm glad that's over with. The rest of the level is a bit of a breeze, so... I'm not worried anymore. Okay, first, let's trigger. Never mind. Is there a Guffy? Yeah. So let's trigger the mutated tree. Yeah, second account has weird secrets. 
Uh, there you are. There's also a secret here. And you can also hear it clear. Can I please hit you? Nice. During my practice run, he actually fell off. I had to do some trickery with the cannon to kill him. Where? Oh, there. Also, another secret. This area here is this small area is three secrets. Pretty uh, incredible. Okay, what's next? Reptiloids? Yep. Get out of my way, tree. Whoa, you're getting close. trees in the way. There. Now let's press the switch to open the door for later. Let's try something fun with these harpies. So when they get damaged, they will fall. So we can damage them. And they will freaking die. Watch. Oh, never mind. Well, I would want to show you how they fell into the abyss, but... Too bad. And there's another switch we need to press for a secret. For a secret yard. Now we're gonna backtrack and fight some more monsters. Oh, there's still RP left. Uh oh. I think the Reptiloid fell. You can hear him. Come on, make a noise. Okay, so it wasn't that other Reptiloid that fell. He just spawns there for some reason. Well, that's annoying. Well, maybe I don't have to do trickery with cannonballs. Maybe I can, I can either rocket jump. Or I can do a very long backtracking uh, path. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I cannot go back. Okay. Trick, trickery with the cannonball. It is. I have 39 cannonballs to uh, uh, try this. So. Okay, we have to listen closely. We have to listen to the growl. Can I... Why are shooting so high? Nah. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to rock a jump. I think maybe one rock jump was sufficient, but there he is. 
Trying to ruin my run, huh? Why does he even spawn there? Oh! Of course. This is where the secret uh, pillar was. He's supposed to spawn on top, but if you destroy the pillar by using the detonator, he falls down. So that's why he spawns there. Ah. It all makes sense. I never realized, because I always trigger that secret, so... Okay, minigun, finally. Come on, play with me now. It's gonna be harpies, and that's it. Nothing too difficult. And that's it. Mm, yeah, let's go here now. Too clear, I always get stuck here. Oops. Now I grab the gold elephant and we can open up a new door. But beware. Sneaky clear spawned. Thankfully we have a minigun now. To take care of the reptiloids. the harpy okay so we pressed the switch earlier that said uh, secret yard has been opened and that is this one and for this one time I'll pick up the, the phone hello who the hell is that it's me Sam Sam who serious Sam yeah right Hmm. Hey, now I get it. Sam, I am. <laughs> so that's the phone call from Serpent Yards, the one I skipped. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy this tree because it's in the way. Because it's gonna be a pretty big clear wave here. Very random. This also reminds me of the first encounter. Just a relentless... Uh, Barrage of clear. Look at this. Look at this. This is what I want to see more often in the second encounter. Alright. Here are the secret items. Now we're gonna move on. So we grabbed the gold elephant. And now we can open up uh, the gold elephant door, I guess. It's, it's this one. See, there's elephants. And it has a uh, Dumbo here. And another Dumbo. Okay, so this is a trap. That's what I get for being cheap. Come on. You cannot trick me. I've played this game a thousand times.
Okay, scary platforming in Series M, my favorite. Oh, this is so scary. Oh god. Mini heart attack. If I had failed that jump, I would have done a rocket jump in my uh, next run. And I would have said, oh, this run, uh, this jump ruined my previous run. That's why I rocket jump now, just to be safe. But we didn't mess up, so no need. Okay, this door's locked. And then we gotta go over here. It's gonna spawn Nars, I think. Oh yeah, chainsaw time. And it's gonna be like clear. Oh no, Bomberman here. Just die already. And that's where the clear was. Oh, and Guffy I forgot about. No scope. No scope. And a random Tommy gun. And a random clear. And some random ammo and armor. Everything is random. And we're almost done uh, with this level. I really hope I didn't miss any secrets. I was afraid that I missed secrets. Let's go full cannon. Except here, because I don't want to destroy the risk that I destroyed the horse statue. Oh, here's another first account to clear wave. Okay, then there's a hidden switch here. We'll open up a secret ammo depot, which is uh, on the other side of this yard and there's a poop joke here yes poop jokes i love poop jokes ha <laughs> ha super epic and here's the ammo depot uh let me see how many secrets i have oh nice lag 12 out of 12 yay Now, this will spawn extra enemies. It's a reptiloid over there, I think. Yep, there he is. Let's see if we can land a cannonball on his, on his head. Gotcha. Okay, so one more area to go, and then we're done. And at the end, we should have 394 kills out of 415. Quite a lot of broken uh, spawners here. Oh. I thought the scorpion was here, but he's on the other side. The scorpion is here, this, you know? So all that is left now is a clear wave, and we're done. And you can clear, kill the clear from here, before they enter your cage. Hey, where are you going? Don't have a party without me. I think I can even just hold the attack key. I'm not worried about my ammo. This is the last fight, so... Three ninety four, please. Three ninety four. Hell yeah. Means we're done with this level, so let's go. 
Oh yeah, that's uh... Ah, oh, I guess I'll show you, why not? There's items here. I don't need them, because I'm not gonna carry off anything. Because of the clean start rule. And that is the elephant atrium, or atrium. It depends how you want to pronounce it. And, well, uh, it's an okay level. I wasn't much... Um, I don't think this was really one of my favorites. It's not the worst, but it's... I don't know. I always think Ziggurat and Elephant Atrium are always very, very alike. But now that I replayed the levels, it's actually... Well, slightly different, but it's still similar. But, uh, yeah, it's alright. Uh, I know many people love this level for its uh, music and graphics and fights and stuff. And yeah, I have to agree. It's uh, it's nice. has some good fights. It looks good. Reminds me of the first encounter once again. I don't know. There's just something about it that I'm not a big fan of. I think it's because it's just flat. Or maybe it's just me. Anyway, um, yeah, we're done. So up next is the courtyards of Gilgamesh. Yeah, that's the one. So I will see you guys then.